the bell icon to turn on notifications. Hello everyone and welcome to this video tutorial where I'm going to show you how you can create subtasks and summary tasks in Microsoft Project. Now the reason why you might want to add subtasks and summary tasks to your project is really to give your project some structure to make it organized and easier for people to read. So you can see on the screen here I have a wedding plan and currently I don't have any real structure in this project plan. I just have a list of tasks with their start, their finish date and their duration. So what I might want to do here is take a look through the different tasks that I have and start creating some subtasks and some summary tasks. Now the process of doing this is fairly straightforward. So let's start out with subtasks. Now if we look at my project plan here, I can see that task two is a task called attire. So this is basically a task where we're going to deal with everything related to the outfits at the wedding. And then underneath there, you can see I have some similar related items. So we have bridal party fitting, wedding dress fitting, groom fitting, bridesmaids dress fitting, and then I have some other tasks, order bridesmaids dresses, order wedding dress. Now all of these technically fall under this attire heading. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give this a little bit more structure, make it easier to read by making some of these items subtasks of attire. So the first task here, bridal party fitting. I'm going to highlight that. Then on the task ribbon in the schedule group, you can see we have an outdent task button and an indent task button. So I'm going to say indent. You can see that it's indented that task. So I now know that it's a subtask and it's made a tire a summary task. So that's now showing in bold. Now what I can also do here is make subtasks of subtasks. So with bridal party fitting, I can see that the three tasks below, wedding dress fitting, groom fitting, and bridesmaids dress fitting, those three tasks are essentially subtasks of bridal party fitting. So I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. Select these tasks, click on indent, and indent again. So now you can see that bridal party fitting is essentially a summary task, and I then have my three subtasks. And then what I'm also going to do here is for order bridesmaids dress and order wedding dress. These don't need to come under bridal party fitting, but they do still come under the attire heading. So I want to make these two subtasks. So let's click indent just once. So I've added a nice structure to this first part of my project plan. And what I would essentially do is go through the rest of my project adding this structure. So let's do that because this project is fairly short. I'm going to select guest list and finalize guest list and make those subtasks. I'm going to select research and book venue and make those subtasks of venue. And I'm going to select research caterer, food tasting and book caterer and make those subtasks of catering. Now you can see that once we have these summary tasks listed, those are also collapsible and expandable. So this is pretty useful if you have a particularly long project that has maybe hundreds of tasks and maybe you just want to focus in on a specific part of the project, then you could, if you wanted to, use these collapsible and expandable arrows on your summary tasks in order to do that. Another way of collapsing and expanding everything or managing what you're seeing in your Gantt chart is to jump up to the view ribbon. And in the data group, you have an outline drop down, and this is where you can choose to show all subtasks, hide them all, see all subtasks and the different levels. So if I was just interested in seeing all the top level headings, level ones, I can click level one, and there you go, you can see all of those. If I want to bring those subtasks back, I could say level two, and it's gonna bring those back, but notice that it hasn't expanded bridal party fitting because everything under there is a level three. If I wanted to see those, I could go back to outline and say level three, and you can now see, I can see those tasks. Now, one thing you can do is you can add a project summary task to your project. So essentially the project becomes a task of its own. And this helps you see an overview of your entire project. So if you would like to turn that on, if you jump up to the format ribbon, 
And all the way over in the Show Hide group, you'll see you have an option there for Project Summary Task. So let's put a check in that box. And what you'll see is that now at the top we have a new task. It's labeled as Task 0. It says Wedding Plan and it's getting this name from the name of this particular file. And then we have the overall duration, the project start date and the project finish date. So sometimes that's quite nice to be able to see that information at the top of your task list. So that's it on subtasks and summary tasks. I hope that's demystified it slightly for you and I will see you in the next video. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get four free courses in Excel, QuickBooks, Microsoft Project, and Photoshop, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.